everyone, it's your above average bot player, Warford. Welcome back to the channel. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 dropped today. And that's what we're going to go into. Right before we do the challenges, we're going to watch the trailer, go through the battle pass, and check out all this new stuff they added. Because I have no idea what's going on, and I'm pretty excited. So far, this got me interested back in playing Fortnite again. Cause I've been playing way too much COD. I haven't played Fortnite since COD came out, really. Only been doing the weekly challenges for you guys. But this could get me back into Fortnite again. I'm pretty excited. So let's get into it. Welcome to the Agency. You come highly recommended. This is your hideout. Buy the Battle Pass to recruit this team of agents. Meowsles, a feline enforcer that can take some serious licks. Midas, a mastermind with the golden touch. Maya, an elite specialist that becomes uniquely yours. And more. Throughout the season, you'll complete missions to earn a bonus variant for your Battle Pass agents, Ghost or Shadow. Choose wisely. You'll also embark on limited time operations that will change the fate of the island forever. Your future begins with buying the Battle Pass. Earn your team of agents, 1500 V-Bucks, and all new items. The future is in your hands. We know you'll make the right decisions. Good luck. Oh, Deadpool? What? No way. Oh, I'm pretty excited for this season. Why is she on an angle like that? Okay. Oh, this is the loading screen. What? Upgrade fault? What's going on? Daily assignment? What? Agents, what is this? What the hell's going on? So I can only pick one? White or black, eh? I'm going dark. Alright, buy the battle pass, reach battle pass level 20, complete at least 18 of Brute's brief ring challenges. Can I get both of them? Well, they unlock at the same time, I guess I, guess I choose. Okay. Anything else I can click on on this?
Alright then. Huh. Daily assignment. Doesn't look like the map changed too much. Explosive weapon elimination. Steal damage with assault rifles to opponents. Third one's not here. Coming soon. That's pretty cool. Um, let's do challenge table. Land, uh, Luki's Lighthouse. Uh, so here's all the challenges, I guess, for today. What does the numbers mean? One, it's one, three, four, and five. Oh, it's one challenge, and there's four challenges, three challenges, five, ten. Any time challenges? Ah, oh, interesting. Mayo's challenge, daily challenges, style challenges, all challenges. That's pretty good. interesting. Oh, what's this? Little Deadpool, Avengers, Hearts, Computer. Find Deadpool's letter to, to Epic Games. Like on the computer? Hmm, what the hell? Not really sure what to do for this part yet. This stuff, nothing really clicks. Okay. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Dear Fortnite, I came up with a cool redesign for the battle bus. I bet my friends, my good drawing arm, you put this in the game last season. Please tell your artist limbs on the line and to add this right away. Your best friend, Wade. <laughs> okay, I found it. Don't thank the bus driver. Got it. It's under her socks. Is that it? I guess that's it. And we got the upgrade fall. I'm not sure what this does. Build your Maya. What do you mean? Make Maya uniquely yours. Purchase the season two battle of pass and visit Maya's upgrade fall. Okay, complete Maya's challenge each week to able to upgrade her. Upgrade different parts of your outfit. Preview your upgrade choice and then permanently lock them in. Lock them in as you finish challenge to craft your own unique version of Maya. Roger that. Oh, people are talking about that, but I guess they thought it's for every skin you had in your locker. I guess the only thing I have to check out is the battle pass. Look at the f what's going on. All right. V box. New backpack. More music. Pixax. New bag. Glider. P box. Paint. Picture. New character. Bonus back flare pull Brutus Hack slash. Okay. Yo, I would love that for my Black Knight outfit. Oh my god. Looks amazing. Another picture. Bag. Emblem. Emote. What's this? A glider? 
A glider you can ride. That's interesting. That's very cool. Oh, it's like a common book camo. I like that. I have to try that out with my Black Knight outfit. It's like a common book spy season for season two. James Bond, Marvel type shit. It's a backpack, okay. More music. A new dance. Another person. Transformation emote, what's that mean? Is that a banana? No. Oh, we got gold and black. That's interesting. Oh, it's for the cat. Makes sense. Gold and black. Pixax. Oh, I like that. Fish glider. Interesting. Maybe it gives hints to anything. Another dance. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know about that one. Oh, I like the black because of my black knight. Everything I want to match that. I hope you can use both. You just can't pick one side. That'd be annoying. Cause what if I want to switch it up one time? <laughs> what kind of glider is that? I mean, he's gonna be in character later on in the game. Don't know how that fits with everything. Uh, I like that a lot. They got swords. It's not really two dances, it's like a lot of modes and stuff that we really care about and gun wraps. I like the black and purple. I don't know, Shadow's gonna be like my choice so far. I don't know who is good or bad, but because I haven't really played season one, I'm hoping this season two will get me back into playing instead of playing COD, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe after the grind of Damascus, I'll be back playing Fortnite again. S and since I'm still new playing PC, it's kind of hard, so which gets me excited because I like playing challenging games. I like that Pixax a lot. But this gold one looks nice too. Dope. More music. Another back bling. What's his eyeball? I don't know. More with gun wrap. Okay, I kind of like that. Alright, there you go. So, Shadow's definitely bad. Black and gold, I like that. Instead of the white and gold. But I really hope we can do pick both with not just like you stuck with one the whole time. Alright, so that's the battle pass. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my first look through the battle pass and what the new season brought so far. Obviously I am excited and have no idea where to start and go. But for this week's weekly challenge we're doing brute briefing and let's get into it. The first challenge we're doing is land at Lockie's lighthouse at pre sky and Mount Kai or K. Couple new spots on the the map. This is where the lighthouse is at. That's where we go visit. That's where we're going to go first. All right, we did that. That looks sick. So the mansion's right here, or the little hut house we have to go to. Right there. Don't remember if I recorded that or not for the... Alright, that worked. So mount, the mountain we have to go to is right here. You gotta probably just land by the flag and you should be golden. To get that challenge. And there's the challenge. First challenge done. The next challenge is search chess at the Grotto or the Shark. So I'm working from my top. I'm working the challenges from the top to bottom. That's how I'm doing it. You don't have to do it like that, but that's how the video is gonna be laid out. Location where the shark is to find. Uh, search the chest. It's right here. That's one location. The second location for where you can search chests is right here. I have no idea where any of the chests are. It's one. It's two. What the hell is this loot? It's three. What you mean? It's four. It's five. Next challenge is deal damage to henchmen. We gotta do 2,000 damage to them. So I just want to say, I didn't realize earlier, but the number, this stuff right here on the map are the locations that you can do the challenges in. Because they all freaking say the same thing. Deal damage, do the ID scanner, don't be seen by a henchman. So literally you can do the shark, the yacht, the rig, the new PI in the middle of the map, and then... The other thing over here I haven't seen yet, you can do these challenges here. I had no idea, I feel like such an idiot. I was wondering why there are so many challenges to do, but they're actually showing you the location where, you're, where you can find this stuff now. It makes it a bit easier for everyone to go and figure out where to find people or find to do the challenges. So you learn something new every day. And just a quick tip for the henchmen, you have to do it in solo, they don't spawn and Team Rumble or anything. So you gotta do solo, duos, or squad. They got the weapon, jeez. What the fuck was that? Right. 
so that's how you get the keys, shake them down. Blue star, what's going on? The next challenge is be crouched within 20 meters of, of an unaware henchman for a total of 10 seconds. You can find these guys the same areas you're killing them at. The next challenge is disguise yourself inside a phone booth in different matches. I'm not really sure where the phone booths are. So far I only seen them where you can find the hunchman at anyways. And I'm gonna find out if you can use the same telephone in different matches and see if that matters. Phone booth done. Alright, so you can use the same phone booth, but you have to do it in solos or duos or squads. You cannot do it in Team Rumble. Alright, that was the third one. The next challenge is eliminate players while having a total of 100 health and shield or more. So basically you just need a hundred health or just a hundred shield with like 50 health doesn't matter or 200 of health, a hundred shield, a hundred health and you'd be perfect. You just need to find a hundred health with anything. It's two. All right, the next challenge is open doors locked by an ID scanner and different matches. And we're going to see if you can use the same door in a different match and see if that's a problem or not. So you want to take this entrance into the area. So there's a phone booth right there. Make sure this guy can see you. Oh, you scan here. Quickly swim away. Jump on the zip line. No, they destroyed the door. There's a door you can scan. And that's one. Oh, 
I know where I'm going. Oh, that's confusing. Uh, here's a door we can scan. Alright, so you can use the same. The next challenge is search ammo boxes in a single match. Gotta search seven of them. And the spot I went to is probably the best spot to do in one game. One box. That's two. I believe that's three. Number six, and there's seven. That should be seven. Yep, because I can't even check Brute's thing. But in case you can't find those ones, there is so many on this table here. If you're lucky enough, you can have four spawn on these tables. And there's usually one a couple over here. The next challenge is throw different shield items or healing items. So you just gotta find bandages, med kits, big shields, lily shields, hold down your uh, aim in button and then throw away. Alright, to throw health items or shield items, you just gotta hold down the aim in button and just chuck it. And you can do it again with that, and then with that, that's how you do it. The last challenge is damage players using two different weapons within 10 seconds. What the fuck was that? Alright, so we finished all the challenge for Brutus. He's still locked because we still have to reach battle pass level 20 and then we still have to complete at least 18 of Brutus briefing challenges. So I'm not sure if we just did all 18 or there's going to be more coming later on next week or so. But uh, next week I'll be posting again for the challenges and we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Comment down below on any feedback on the video how I can do better any means possible It'd be much appreciated have a good one tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake